you know what? I just decided that I'm going to do this one, uh, do this third day as it is, and if I make any big mistakes, then, well, I guess you'll see another one. If for no other reason, then hey, it'd be interesting, but I'll let you know if and when that happens. Also, we're going to go back inside because I'm just going to do this. Yes, we have the UI Info Suite mod open, but as uh, I need to figure out how I'm going to do these timestamps, <laughs> I'm just going to do this. So, yeah, well, not really much, but... Let us see. I think we just store everything but the thing. We don't have copper ore, which I think is the big deciding factor here. So really... No, wait. We take the hoe anyway, right? I think we take the hoe anyway. But I'm not sure. Because the reason you take the hoe, I assume, is just in case you can find, ev uh, find some kind of artifact spot. But if not, I think we'll be just fine. But definitely we want to make sure that the rod is with us. And after that, yeah, not really much else. We store everything and we move immediately to, I think, Leia's house. Again, I needed a refresher, so excuse me if I stop to think every now and then. But other than that, just doing the regular stuff I normally do outside of recording Sardu Valley or World of Horror, if you're, you know, usually watching this channel, that's the game that's primarily featured on the, featured on this channel. Well, also because I like it, but it is a very, you know, a very nice game to record quickly and play but it's also you know it's it's my version of engagement i think we fish here right so we'll just see what happens until about well pretty much when willy shop opens which is when we want to go to the beach we'll look out for any art we'll look out for any artifact spots but i'm pretty sure if i've skipped one then i've skipped one also this is not the easiest job in the world but theoretically speaking when you get good enough or you play stardew valley for long enough fishing like this shouldn't be as hard as i nearly lose the fish thank goodness we're not on multiplayer slash online because then time i think time still moves when you're on multiplayer right Coming from someone who doesn't really play a lot of multiplayer, that's the catfish, and uh, yeah, we're gonna stay here for about, I think, five, six casts, that's when it'll be about 8.30ish, again, all on a guideline setting, you don't have to go by the minute, especially when RNG uh, permits or does not permit, and by that, I mean, you're lucky enough, assuming you're, you can get every fish fine, excluding, we'll just say, legendary fish, if you happen to snag one, I don't think you can during this, but... Uh, during the guide but if you do maybe i mean I, I don't doubt that you can or cannot but the main goal at the end of this uh well one of the main goals is to hit level six fishing if i can that's great if not i'm also checking my checking my keyboard really quickly so i'm gonna lose some of a perfects this perfect anyway and yeah this video will be as is again just working on game development stuff in the background nothing too flashy i i have yet decided the exact details of how i'm going to how should I say? Not market it exactly, but slowly introduce it. I mean, getting the word out wherever I can is definitely... I mean, that's definitely something you want to do. Also, I did not grab... I did not make a chest, did I? No, no. We're going to be grabbing the chest from the dock, I think, is the is the strategy. Oh, my goodness. No! Okay. No! <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to yell into the mic because of sadness, but hey. Uh, yeah, if that would have that could have been a catfish, but me. So again, coming from someone who is not exactly the best at going through Stardew efficiently, anyway, or some somewhat efficiently. I forgot if we do this. I mean, I do. We know. I know we check the garbage cans, but we also check anything else. Eh, that's. I mean, it's energy if nothing else. But what we really want to do is go to the dock and then run all the way back to the beach. I believe. But we're looking for any forageables, artifact spots, so we'll sell all the fish and anything else that would be nice. And then we will proceed to return back to our fishing spot near the river and hopefully do better than what we just did. So, let me see. Oop, I forgot that we need to go sell this stuff. I should have picked up fish while I was at that chest, but too late now. So, 250 and extra. I think we immediately go. There's not really much else we can do. I think we throw away driftwood here, right? There's nothing stopping me. And if this is a mistake, again, I'll just do another video um, 16, 24 hours from now. But I'll, otherwise, we're just going to grab everything we can and sell everything we can. Because I don't think we're going to be able to take these things with me. So unfortunately, that goes. I probably should actually take Joja Cola, all things considered. 
if for no other reason than to drink it right now so I can be a little bit faster moving in between this chest and Willy's shop. But yeah, let's go. I should have actually stored the rod if I was going to do this. That way I can sell fish. Hopefully this, this doesn't take an extra trip. We're going to find out. And I think we just get regular bait. Deluxe bait is, is too expensive for our purposes right now, so we need to throw away this driftwood. I want to throw away this driftwood. I did not. So now I'm just really sad. I mean, we're going to make another trip back to the chest regardless, but... Let's just make sure we can throw away what we want to throw away. So... Up, 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 up. And then everything else here we pretty much toss. I think we want... How much do we want? I think like a few hundred. I'm just going to do 500 to be safe. Or if we can, if we can even get that much. I'm pretty sure we can. Nope, we get like a 400 here, so... Uh, I mean, we're going to be using it all anyway. That's just how much fishing we may or may not be doing. Again, I don't remember off the top of my head, but we're doing a lot of fishing. So, if I continue this past the first week or two, this bait will disappear. Especially if we catch trash more than a few times, which will be likely to happen. Oh, actually, we need to save enough for copper ore. I forgot. I think it's 75? Well, I'm about to find out. But nonetheless, let's get back to this chest. I think we'll toss everything that's not going to give me energy. And if I have too many slots, then uh, we're going to toss that too. But otherwise, uh, as I forget to do this, well, we'll eat this so we can free up a slot. But then we want to do this. Question mark? Yeah, okay. And away we go. Although I do need to put this bait in this rod. Okay, we have 520. That should be more than enough. And I hopefully, I hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. But back we go, I think. So yeah, just a lot of fishing and if nothing else, exposing myself to how good or bad I may be at the fishing mini game. <laughs> oh, it, I, I think we'll be fine. Although missing any fish is again really, really not going to be great. I actually don't. We visit Clint. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. No, this is at least well twelve to fifteen seconds in real life. But we were supposed to go buy copper ore. I'm sorry. But we'll just assume a bit we'll, that this time loss is ultimately going to be another fish that I missed. All things considered. So again, if it turns out we're doing really well, then we're doing really well. If not, hey. Hello, Cliff. Clint. Cliff. Clint. Pain. Uh, one copper ore, please. And then we head back to where we are. So. I feel like I was supposed to keep the coal, actually, though. I feel like there was some reason that we wanted to keep the coal, but it's too late at this point. I guess we just assumed that we were unlucky. If nothing else, maybe we get a treasure chest while fishing and we grab a thing. But as I, I ate... I also probably ate this sea jelly too early, but... You didn't have the guide. The min max guide was made definitely before 1.6, so sea jelly isn't supposed to be a factor at all. But since it's here, I mean, any help where, where help is appreciated is 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 appreciated. So uh, let me just actually store all of this, and let's just continue fishing. I'm a bit sad that I haven't been. I, I don't need to be optimal, but I would still like to be somewhat efficient, if that makes any sense. But as this seems to be another catfish, that's going to drop. A drop? Yeah, drop. <gasps> no, go back up, drop. I really need to get used to the behavior. I think it's I think it's sporadic. It's definitely not a floater, as it proceeds to sink down to the bottom, but if I have an extra quote unquote efficient level in fishing, I should be able to catch this catfish. After that though, how many I catch is going to be a It's going to be something. Uh, okay, it did move up. Oh help! No, not like this. Not like this. I was bamboozled. Go up. Go up. Yeah, go up. Nope, you're going to go up, right? Nope, nope. No, it's not. No, it's not. Help. Help. You're going to shoot up. You're going to shoot up. You're going to shoot up. Do it. I dare you. I'm ready for it. Okay, it wasn't that ready for it, but better than losing the fish. I haven't caught the fish yet. I shouldn't say anything. Please. <laughs> Catfish can start slow. I thought they immediately start moving. I mean, I know that they're, they're no legend fish, but hey. Okay, so, yeah, but this is pretty much what we do until we pass out, I believe. Also, my sound is not as high as I want to, so I do need to kind of be looking at the game. Or listening. But it shouldn't be so bad. So, I think we still prioritize treasure chests, because treasure chests can introduce a whole lot of good RNG as I proceed to miss another fish. And hopefully we do hit level 6 at least. At least. Oh my goodness, why do I do this to myself? Help! 
Otherwise, if I'm going to be missing catfish, funny enough, the efficient thing would be to catch non-catfish fish. But at the same time, fat, uh, catfish does provide a lot. If I don't hit level 6, I guess we're, repeat, we're, repeat, we're repeating this day. Can I speak correctly, by the way? Oh my goodness. Go up. Now go down. Now go back up. <gasps> ah! <laughs> yeah, this this guy definitely assumes you're somewhat efficient on the fishing mini minigame. More than I am showing right now, at least. But hey. Again, this is if I didn't if you weren't if you didn't hear me say it before, this series just uh, well now it's a series exists more to see uh, how well the how well the guide can be followed by someone who's uh, you know kind of casual. I haven't made that many big mistakes, but I have also made some big mistakes. So not that I don't like the fishing minigame in Stardew Valley, I just lament the fact that I'm not as good at is at it as I want to be. But hey, all things considered. It would be nice to keep catching catfish, though. <laughs> uh, because I'm not getting any fishing experience by missing, that's for sure. But yeah, if nothing else, I understand if you want to leave this video early. Because, boy, missing, I think, three fish at least by this point, and they're probably, they were probably all catfish. is probably not for the best. But catching fish that are easier but less... that uh, sell for less is probably not great either, yeah. Each catfish, well, that's silver uh, silver quality, but still, a couple hundred gold compared to only 150 on a gold uh, gold quality fish, probably not good. So, hey. But other than that, yeah, after this, assuming I don't get any farther in the series, I really don't remember. Oh my goodness, help. Nope, dead. I really don't remember the... Uh, the day's coming after, so I will need to do some homework, if that makes any sense. Otherwise, maybe I'll just be so salty that I'll do another recording right after this one, uh, just to try and get another... Again, it'll, it'll this will be a video on its own, if for no other reason than for data storage purposes. I, I don't know who's what kind of data it, and who it would serve, but... Definitely goes to show what, what can and is and is not possible. I mean... If you have enough rationale to believe, it shouldn't be hard to guess, to surmise that hey, if you don't, if you don't do, if you're not efficient enough in in fishing, then hey, I think you only need to level five to you need to get level five to uh, get the yeah fish it right because every five levels. But hitting level six, I think, is the more efficient thing for very obvious reasons. Well, otherwise, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. We do have sea jelly that's not supposed to be a consolation slash crutch, but since we do, we'll see. We'll see what I ultimately decide. If there's a very specific and very, uh, very good reason to hit level six in fishing, then I will redo this day. I mean, obviously, some guy. I don't. I forgot if this guide says so, but these these guides or any kind of efficiency guide does usually presume that you know you know and have some ability to play the game relatively well. I mean, it's a guide, so it exists to kind of introduce you into how to, in this case, make more make your Stardew Valley life more efficient. But at the same time, you do need to be somewhat efficient already. If not, I mean, again, it's it's a game. We it, this this game is what it is. Its genre is free casual life, so you're supposed to do whatever you want. I think what I'm actually gonna do as I'm fishing here is gonna I'm gonna actually pull up the mid max guide. So I'm gonna one hand Stardew for a moment. Nice gold quality catfish, by the way. And we'll see if it matters. So let's see, day four. I, oh, I can't hear. If I if I'm talking, I may not be able to hear the fishing thing. I should actually turn my volume up, but it's perfectly fine. So what, my first question is, how much gold will we actually need? We seem to be fishing again on day four, so <laughs> if nothing else, hit level seven tomorrow by, if we don't hit, if we only get to fishing level five today, which is the bare minimum, because I assume you want the fishing, the fisher perk before selling your fish tomorrow. And then you definitely go from 5 to 7 in the next day. 
again, that depends on how efficient I am fishing here. Unless, as I may or may not find out, even though I miss more than a handful of fish, it's possible to hit level 6. But as we near 5 p.m. here, that 1 will depend on RNG, and 2, though it's not supposed to be a factor, will depend on if I catch every single fish that I can catch, which is theoretically possible. I mean, if you can catch catfish here... Uh, somewhat reliably, then theoretically speaking, you can learn to catch catfish even at like level, well, uh, I don't know how, I don't know, actually. <laughs> Essentially though, if you're on level 4 and you're, you're fishing with the fiberglass rod and you can catch catfish, or I'm catching catfish, then it's definitely possible. And obviously we've seen people do it, but uh, just to say it for those who may not know for whatever reason, then yes, man, I would have liked that perfect. And we'll definitely need to eat for energy. The question is, will we have enough? We will definitely be able to hit level 5 unless I miss 10 catfish in a row. But other than that, yes, we have a bit... We have some more fish to sell. Do I forego the perfect... Yeah, I mean, I've already foregone the perfect already. The issue is that I don't have enough space in my image. Can I, please? Thank goodness time does not pass. But as we get a rice shoot and extra coal. So at least we get some coal back. But we definitely want to store all the fish. Can we just throw away this newspaper, by the way? I think we can. Let's just do that. Just in case. Oh my goodness, what am I doing with my life? Oh my goodness, what am I doing with my life? As my sea jelly fishing buff disappears. Will we even have enough to fish for the rest of the day? Or have I gone crazy? We're going to find out. So... Yeah, tomorrow we're going to be back on the farm. We'll, we'll definitely be putting things in the bin, it seems like. I'm looking away for a moment. I shouldn't be. But we'll also get some amount of fishing done, apparently. So, Mountain Lake, more fishing, for usually for gold. What are we doing on day five, then? Five copper bars, and here's another seaweed. And we will see. I mean, we have the UI suite. I see something about checking your luck, but we're going to do it for posterity regardless. But yes, we do have the luck on the top right corner of our screen. Uh, the reasoning for that, if I didn't already say it, is that theoretically speaking, or you can put the TV right next to your door. So it pretty much doesn't cost time because as you're checking the TV, time does not pass. That is the rationale for allowing at least that part of the... That part of the mod. I, I mean, if I can get away with it, I guess selling the jelly might be okay, but we're probably going to eat it for en energy because we need to... We need to fish as much as possible. Oh my goodness, why have I done this to myself? Well, we're going to keep that. Cast. We're probably going to get cr trash for this. Crash. Trash. Never mind, I lied. But I don't know if catfish exist on this part of the river. Doesn't see... This is definitely not a catfish. At least we get a perfect, but... We need to eat this river, this river jelly for energy, at least. F-O-R, space energy. But yeah, just as a little quick preview, or if I never do a preview, just to let, just to like say it out loud, is that day five is mining. So day four is more fishing, however much you can do, and then day five is mining. But, assumably we should be... We should be hitting level six. I don't know if it's going to be possible with the way I'm going. 667 out of 850 experience. Yeah, I don't know. Even if we caught those... Well, I missed about, like, five... Let's assume that we missed five catfish or could have gotten five extra catfish. That would be at least... What did I just... I don't even know. Uh, I assume that's at least 150. So we'd definitely be level five by now. Does that take place immediately? Do you get the benefits of level immediately, though? Anywho, this is another catfish, by the way, that I'm probably going to miss. <laughs> so I definitely am missing at least 150 experience, which in the grand scheme of things does hurt a, a, a lot. But we'll make do with what we get. So here's another catfish. Are you going to rise back up? You are. Are you going to drop back down? You are. Oh, goodness. <gasps> ah! <laughs> yeah. If I do do this today again, we'll see. Otherwise, I'll I'll at least do attempt this day again, maybe. Because I do have backups of the save. Otherwise, I mean, we'll see. It's all about, it's all about, you know, making do with what you've got. Hitting, I think fishing level 5 is the bare minimum, but if we can't, so be it, right? Again, really interested to see, but assumably speaking, if 
If I can hit level 6, then you should be hitting level 6 here. But yeah, every, ca every catch is about 30 to 40 experience, so that's definitely a lot of experience I'm missing out on every time I miss a catfish. So with that considered, if I'm going to be missing a catfish, then the next optimal thing it would be if those were instead reams or chubs, but they're not, so... We're going to fish till we drop. I'm going to take a peek at this next, how much experience you need to get from 5 to 6, assuming we hit level 5 here. Because the most important part is that we level up at all, otherwise we, I think we begin the day exhausted and missing energy, which would not be great. That would actually, you actually would rather restart, but if you're, for some reason, not allowing yourself to restart days, which is normal on a, you know, some challenge runs, including this one, I think, is, yeah, you would... You would not be able to, so you would have to live with what you've got. Which makes some sense. There are some things in Stardew Valley, from what I know, where... If you know the RNG, then you know all the RNG... Oh my God. Then you know the RNG, but... That is obviously not allowed, because you would not normally know that as a player before you go in. Part of the fun is... Part of the fun of Stardew Valley is dealing with the RNG you're given. Yeah, so we probably wouldn't be able to hit level 6. If we were more optimal, we probably could... Depends in the next four hours. We'll see. Because, yeah, at this point, I probably missed five to six catfish. So, assuming that the experience there is good, we'll see if I catch another catfish, then I can find out for certain. But then we can do the, we can do the easy calculation here. I pick up a treasure chest. This is my daily rem or occasional reminder to store things in my treasure chest. Which I forgot to do. We'll do it now. Don't think it really matters what else... Afterward, though. Oh my goodness, eat, please. Eat! And let's cast immediately. We should have more than enough energy to last the rest of this day. But again, I'm really interested to see how much experience I missed out on. We'll even round down if we run into another catfish, but that seems to not be happening. So instead, we're going to look for this. I assume any artifacts or whatever you can get that sells for a lot of money, or any money at all, helps out in the long run. Well... Do we want to read that immediately? We, we probably should, right? But as we continue... Also, I've not been max casting, if that matters here, or... Matters more than a bit, but as this goes down and then goes back up... Yep. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. Go down. Nope, you're not going to go down yet. You're going to go down now. One, two, three. I know I kind of sped up that countdown. I'm trying to predict as best as I can. That would probably be for the best. Go back up. Nope, you're going to go back up. It, I mean, you shouldn't be usually following it. If you know it's not going to be in the area it's in for more than like a uh, half a second even. A second might be too long. Then you should just go back up. But, so yeah, 34 experience for, I mean, I don't know if quality helps your experience any. But yeah, definitely missing at least a 170 experience right now. On top of me kind of wasting time here and there. So again, I'm probably missing at least 300 experience minimum. Which, you know. We, I'm Again, if level 6 is a requirement, then I'm going to find out in the coming days. But otherwise, I think I'm just going to keep this day. And we'll work with what we've got. Again, we're still. I'm still also considering the fact that I was... Kind of, or at least kind of lucky on day one. I don't know how lucky I actually was. I don't know this game well enough, but hey. Fun. Like, it has to be more, yeah, because the quality is only probably an increase of it. Well, I would have been able to get it naturally, but then you'd have to predict. We get a diamond, though. Do you, do you donate a diamond immediately? Anywho, I mean, if I wanted to have fun and play around for a moment, I would do nothing with that. I would have probably trash can that diamond, but that would be no fun, wouldn't it? So, if nothing else, the diamond will be a good option select. But I guess I'm going to look up whether you donate a diamond, if you, assuming you catch it. If anyone has even asked that question. It's not impossible, obviously it just happened right here. But, let's see, do, does that, does getting a treasure chest also increase the amount of fishing experience you get? That's, I know I'm asking no one because I'm just recording this on my own, but hey. I know it's getting late. Doesn't matter, though. 
So yeah, seeing that I'm, well, this isn't close, but seeing as close as I was, it's definitely possible to hit level 6. Uh, the problem was, yes, I missed out on at least 5 or 6 catfish, and then I also wasted around at least an hour's time in-game not fishing. One, the most obvious example being me not... One, animation cancelling as well, but two... Uh, making a U-turn to head back to Clint for the copper ore. But as we close out this day, not, not really much else to talk about. The guide, uh, you know, the guide is as it is. Uh, a link to it should be in the description below. Maybe I should stop, but it, again, if anyone really wants me to not mention some things or not even link the guide in that case, assuming it makes sense, then uh, yeah, let me know. Otherwise, we're just going to be sitting here doing this. Again, this, this came out more as curiosity. But I did kind of want this part of it, me doing this video series is also to improve on myself as a gamer. You know, oh, I saw the Z and I went absolutely insane. We probably have two casts left. We would might have third if let's assume that all my uh, my lack of animation canceling misses me on another cast. So we've missed about at least 10 catfish, which could be have been a lot of experience. But again, we'll course correct if necessary. And then we have a diamond for gold option selecting. But well, we we can we can play with the numbers there. So, also, I'm going to close out this video still talking, I guess, because that that would be much more that would be much better than me trying to time 20 seconds at the end of the video. But you know what? It is what it is. So let me just make sure. I think we store actually everything. But otherwise, oh my goodness, what am I doing with my life? I mean, we might not be able we not we might not be able to sell the. Most, uh, not sell all of our fish, but as I sit for here for a moment, actually, if I have the guide up, I might as well check. Blah, blah, blah. Fish until 2 a.m. Before passing out, fill your inventory. or oh, inventory, not the chest. Okay, I almost made a mistake. Fill your inventory with the raw gems or cold, the most expensive fish. You will not return to this chest until the seventh day for the next rainy day, which whichever is sooner. So, at this point, I mean, I'm just going to assume I'm not going to catch anything else. So, what we're going to do... And we have the UI suite to kind of cheat, but we'll take the diamond first because it's a gem that sells for a lot. Otherwise, I think catfish is the most, uh, the next, right? I mean, we're really looking at the stack, so it's this, this, 825, 750, blah, 360. Do we want ore? I think we want all the ore, right? No matter what. We could sell the rice shoot for 360, but let me just check to be sure. I mean, coal ore, right? It's coal, uh, coal and ore over uh, in priority order. And then fish, right? So 180, 268, 310, 360. I think it's this. Then 310. And I think that's about it. Well, actually, theoretically, this rice shoot, but... Uh, let's pretend for a moment. We don't, we shouldn't, well, if we are, if we are hard up for gold, then yeah. That means we leave the hoe in here, right? Do we leave the hoe in here? Now I'm curious. Let me just check to be sure. Because it doesn't say tools. So that must mean that... Yeah, that must mean we don't take the hoe with us. Right? Question mark? Now I'm confused. I think... We have to take it with us, aren't we? Aren't we planting something at some point? Huh. Well, if nothing else, maybe we can pretend... Oh, wait, no, we need one copper ore. That's right, we need one copper ore. So let's actually pretend that we did not grab this and it'll take out the hoe, just in case we made some huge mistake. And then we'll cast as much as possible. We're exhausted, no one cares. We're about to pass out here on the grass. And uh, if I had hit that button quicker, I would have actually, well, our animation canceled a whole bunch of things. But we'll end this on this. We'll end this video grabbing Fisher, and then I will talk for the next last 20 seconds. That is the end screen as we move back to the title. So yeah, without further ado, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to help me to at any length. And yeah, I guess I'll just close out on the end screen by, you know, talking about something randomly because, boy... Still working on game dev, still working on World of Horror stuff, still working on Sardu Valley, my main save file, which will be a whole other thing. But without further ado, that should be the end of this video. I will see you in hopefully the next part, and I'll see you when I see you. Thank you for watching. Bye!